I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 281, where I'm going to show you how to dynamically constrain input within Quantrix Modeler. This is awesome functionality. I have here a basic make, uh, basic uh, model. It has a list of locations across category B, and then I have a flag that uh, puts ones or zeros based off of whether or not uh, its position is odd or even within the list of the items in category B. And what I want to do is in this cell, I want it to be constrained depending, dependent upon whether I put a 1 and 0 in here. So if I have a 0 in here, in my dynamic constraint, in my do drop down, I want to see the locations of Zaporozhye, Kharkov, and Fool Creek. If I were to put a 1 in here, I would expect to see the locations of Oak City, Henry Mountains, and Tavaputs Ranch. So how can I constrain the input to be dynamic based off of some input parameter here? What I do is I go out and I select uh, the cell that I want to constrain the input. I right click it and I select Constrain Input. And then I select Dynamic List. And then within my Select, uh, I go ahead and I write this expression. Uh, the value list that I wish to return is at data B, this guy here. And the key list that I wish to look up is this data is odd. And then the key that I wish to look at is my constraint too. So you can see, for whatever reason, Quantrix doesn't like this at data being used in the value list. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually write this as an expression. To me, I think that may be a bug that I can report. But if I go to at data, I go B. And what do I want to look up? I want to look up data is odd. And what value do I want to look up my constraint control to value? If I go ahead and I click OK here, now I click on my drop down. Again, because it's one, I expect to see Oak City, Henry, and Tavaputs Ranch. If I were to go ahead and I were to change this, then I would see Zaporozhye, Kharkov, and Fool Creek. So that's how you do dynamic constraint input based off of some input cell within Quantrix, or you can parameterize your uh, dynamic constraint. Again, I went here, I went to constraint input, and I put in an expression. The select, it didn't quite like that using the, the at data or the at functionality, functionality of a category, but I was able to put it here in the expression. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.